Hi everyone, my name is Devi and in today's video I will be discussing joints in SQL. I'll be discussing the different types of joints that we have in SQL and I'll also show you how you can run those joint queries in MySQL. But before moving on with the video, I would request you to kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Alright, so starting off, first we have a brief introduction of joint statements. As you can see, join statements in SQL are used to combine data or join columns from two or more given tables on the basis of a common field between them. Suppose you have uh, two or more different tables and uh, you want a single table consisting of different columns, say one column from one table, another column from another table, and so on. In that case, you could take help of join statements in SQL and obtain a single table with different columns from the different tables. Then we have different types of joins in SQL, but in this video we'll be covering inner join, left join, right join, full join and self join as well. So to begin with, first let's take an example. As you can see on the screen, we have two different types of table. The first table is the student table, which contains four different columns, roll number, name, address and age. Then we have the second table, which is the course table. The course table contains three different columns, as you can see, serial number, course ID, and roll number. So the first join that we have is the inner join. Now the inner join or join keyword is mainly used to select all rows from the given tables for as long as the condition remains satisfied. Now the resultant table that you get is formed by combining all rows from both the tables where value of the common field will be the same. So, as you can see, the syntax for inner join is given right here. It goes like select table 1, column 1, table 2, column 1, from table 1, inner join table 2, on table 1, matching column equals table 2, matching column. Now here, table 1 refers to the first table, table 2 refers to the second table, whereas matching column refers to the common field between the two given tables. Now for the given tables, the inner join query would be Select course course ID, student name, student age, from student inner join course on student roll number equals course roll number. Now what this inner join query does is that it gives you a single table which contains the three columns course ID, name and age. And these columns are taken from the two tables, student table and the course table. And also this is done on the basis of the given condition that the row numbers must be matching. Here you can see the output of the resultant table on the screen. There's the course ID, name and age. Moving on, the second type of join that we have is the left join. The left join, which is also known as the left outer join, returns all the rows of the table on the left side of the join and matching rows for the table on the right side of the join. The resultant table that you get displays null value for those rows which have no matching rows on the right side. You can see the syntax for left join here. Select table 1, column 1, table 2, column 1, from table 1, left join table 2, on table 1, matching column, equals table 2, matching column. Now for the given set of tables, the left join query would be select course, course ID, student name, from student, left join course on student roll number equals course roll number. What you get from this left join query is a set of these two columns, which is course ID and name. And this is given in the form of a single table by joining the student and the course table on the basis of the given condition. You can see the output of the resultant table on your screen. We have the course IDs and the names. And these data is associated with the same set of row numbers. Okay, so the next type of join that we have is the right join. The right join, which is also known as the right outer join, is quite similar to the left join, but the only difference between the two is that the right join returns all the rows of the table on the right side of the join and matching rows for the table on the left side of the join. The resultant table that you get displays null values for those rows which have no matching data on the right side. 
As you can see, we have the syntax for right join right here. Select table 1, column 1, table 2, column 1. From table 1, right join table 2. On table 1, matching column equals table 2, matching column. For the given set of tables, the right join query would be select course course ID student name from student right join course on student roll number equals course roll number. What you get from this right join query is a single table which contains the columns course ID and name and this is done by joining the two tables student and course table on basis of the given condition in the query. You can see the output or the resultant table here. Here we have the course IDs and the names and also we have null values in the course ID column wherever there is no matching set of data. So the fourth type of join that we have is the full join. Now the full join is nothing but a combination of both left join and right join. The output table that you get from full join contains all rows from both the tables and also the resultant table contains null values for the rows which have no matching set of data in any of the tables. Here you can see the syntax for full join. It goes like select table 1 column 1, table 2 column 1, from table 1 full join table 2, on table 1 matching column equals table 2 matching column. Now for the given set of tables, the full join query would be select course course ID student name from student full join course on student roll number equals course roll number. Now what you get from this full join query is the output or the resultant table which you can see on your screen. Here we have all the course IDs listed on the left side and all the names listed on the right side of the table and also you can see the null values wherever there is no matching set of data available. Now the last type of join that we have is the self-join. The self-join statement, as the name suggests, is used to join a table to itself. Each row of the table is joined with itself as well as all the other rows available based on some given conditions. The syntax for self-join is select A column 1, B column 2, from table name A, table name B, where given condition. Here, the table name refers to the name of the table that you are joining and the given condition is the conditions based on which the rows are selected. Alright, so for the given set of tables, the self-join query would be select A roll number, B name, from student A, student B, where A roll number is less than B roll number. Now, the output that you get from the self-join query looks something like this. Here you have the set of roll numbers and on the right hand side of the table you have the set of names. This table is obtained on the basis of the given condition that you have here in the query. So now I'll show you how you can run these join queries in MySQL. Here on the screen you can see the MySQL workbench. So let us see how we can run those queries. So on the left side of the screen you can see the list of schemas. Now, I have already created a schema or a database that we are going to work with today. Here you can see the database that I have created, user underscore db1. And I'll also show you the tables that I have created. Here's the student table. I'll show you the student table right here. You can see roll number, name, address, and age. It has all these four columns. I've also created another table, which is the course table. You can see the course table right here. Serial number, course IDs, roll numbers. All of the data is present right here. So now let us begin. First, you can see here's the workspace. Here's the area wherein you can write your queries. First, let us see all the default databases that we have. This is the query you use for seeing all the default or existing databases. As you can see, we have these default databases and the database that I've created user underscore db1. So today we'll be working with this database and okay so the first query that we are going to run would be the query for inner join. So let me just quickly type in the query select course 
course ID. Then we have student name from student in a join course. We have on student roll number equals course roll number. All right, so now I'm quickly going to run this query and see what we get. As you can see, we have the resultant of the output table here. We have the course ID and the names. Okay, so moving on, the next query would be the query for left join. I'll just quickly type in the left join query. We have select course, course ID. Then we have student name. From student, left join, course, on student roll number, equals course roll number. Okay, so here's the query for left join. Now I'll run this query. Okay, so now you can see we have the output right here. We have the table which has course ID and the name. Also, we have null values wherever there's no matching set of data. So moving on, the third query that we are going to run is for right join. So I'll just quickly type in the query. Select course, course ID. We have student name from student right join course on student row number equals course row number. Okay, so here's the query for right join. I'll just quickly run this query. As you can see, we have the output of the resultant table right here. We have the course IDs and the names and null values for wherever there's no matching set of data. So now, coming to the full join query, let me just tell you that the full join keyword is not supported by MySQL. So what you can do in this case is you can use a combination of left join, union and right join keywords all at once. I'll just show you how you can do it. First, you need to type in the query for left join. This is just the same query that we have run previously. Student name from student left join course on student roll number equals course roll number. So here we are done with the left join query. Then you need to type in the keyword union followed by the query for right join. Course ID, we have student name from student Right join course on student roll number equals course roll number. Now we are done writing the query. Now I'll just run this query and see what we get. Here you can see we have the resultant of the output table with the course IDs and the names and null values for wherever there's no matching set of data. Okay, so the last query that we have for today is the self shown query. Select A roll number, we have B name from student A, student B, where 
A roll number is less than B roll number. Okay, so here we have the resultant table or the output table with all the row numbers and the names based on the given condition in the query. So I hope you are clear with the concept of joins in SQL. In this video, I have discussed with you the brief definition of join statements. I have shown you how you can run all the join queries in MySQL. I hope now you're clear with the concept. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.